At this point, are you the official Republican uh, candidate for lieutenant governor? Yes. So Mark asked me to be on the ticket with him, and I gladly accepted. I was really excited about that uh, opportunity to uh, go around the state and uh, meet voters and, and talk about the things that are ailing New York and the solutions that Mark and I have. Well, let's start with a little bit of your biography. Tell me a little about yourself. Well, most, most importantly, uh, I have a very loving, supportive family. My husband drove me up here today and uh, five children. I was born in New York, uh, so been in New York most of my life, but I did go out to Notre Dame and studied chemical engineering, uh, came back to New York and worked in finance, got an MBA. And when I was pregnant with my third child, I retired, quote retired, um, to raise uh, five children and been involved in my local community for the last 25 years doing a variety of things. But six years ago, I was elected to the Rye City Council. So I did that for six years, the last two years as deputy mayor. Uh, one of the, other than my family, one of the things I'm proudest of is starting a local drug and alcohol coalition called Rye Act, which is Rye Action for Children and Teens. Uh, and I started working on that in 2011. Uh, long before we were talking about uh, heroin and opioids every day, but the problem I saw at the time was uh, marijuana and kids smoking too much marijuana. And I'm proud to say that I got federal funding for it in 2015 from the drug-free communities money um, coming out of Washington. And uh, that is, uh, there, there's many things that I want to uh, work on in New York, but, um, you know, helping children uh, and looking at root causes and, and helping them before they get to the points of drugs or violence or guns or knives or, or anything out there is really important to me. And there's a lot that we can do. Yeah. So here I am. Yeah, um, and in fact, since you bring that up, it, it's, it's been something of a trend for governors to sort of task their lieutenant governors with the specific issues. Um, have you had those sort of conversations with Mr. Molinaro? Are there specific areas where he would be looking toward you to sort of spearhead the administration's efforts? We, we both have been um, very involved in helping the developmentally disabled. Um, Mark has an autistic daughter. Um, I have a son um, more high functioning on the spectrum. So um, getting involved with Autism Speaks and, and helping those with special needs has been something I'm doing you know, for the last 25 years. Um, and it's really important to him too. So that's definitely uh, one thing I will be working on. And the, and the state has not done uh, a good a job at the Office of People with Disabilities in, in helping those families and those children. And and, um, you know, and substance abuse and mental health are um, something that's very near and dear to me um, and that I care deeply about. And clearly, um, those have been big issues, not only in New York State, but across the, the country. Uh, so those are other issues that I will be um, focused on and helping, because there's, there's a lot we can do more at the local level, the state level, and the federal level. Um, so let's talk a little bit more broadly about your candidacy. If you're elected, uh, what does your ticket intend to do? Well, uh, I would say overall make New York a, a better, cheaper, and easier place to live, work, uh, and do business in New York. We really, um, one of the big issues is people, it's too expensive for people uh, to live here. So we will be coming out with a broad tax plan, um, you know, about lowering taxes, about trying to get rid of the estate tax, um, and, and making the conditions that will allow businesses and people to thrive. And I, you know, I look around here in downtown Binghamton, you have the most, some, it's very quaint, some of the most beautiful buildings, um, but some of them are empty. And, you know, we really need to, uh, upstate uh, has been ignored for, for far too long. And, you know, I'm, one of the reasons I'm here today is, is to talk about, about corruption and our governor who's basically been trading, uh, you know, political uh, favors for money in his campaign coffers. And, uh, the economic development uh, failures that have happened across the state um, have not have helped him, but not helped the people of New York, and that that really needs to change. So we'll be very focused on um, you know helping people live their lives better, and um, you know helping businesses here because you know without without the support. Um, without our support of, of the business community, particularly the small business community, which creates most of the jobs um, in New York, uh, we can't have the vibrant communities that we want. And, you know, vibrant community to me means uh, our kids come back here after college or stay here after college. Um, and our seniors are here, and it's really becoming increasingly unaffordable for everybody, and certainly for seniors and uh, college kids. You know, my own personal situation is I have a daughter that's come back to New York, um, but I have one in Michigan and, and one in uh, Ohio because they just simply can't afford to be back here. And you know, we, 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 we don't want to be breaking up families. We want people to be able to afford to retire here and see their grandchildren and see their children.
Now, do I understand that you're on something of a corruption tour, yes. uh, visiting different places, trying to highlight that issue? Uh, what What would your ticket do to fight corruption? Well, the first thing uh, we need to do is have term limits in New York. Um, Mark and I have said that we will hold ourselves to two four-year terms, uh, and we need the Assembly and the uh, Senate to vote on uh, term limits for themselves. It, it's really um, unconscionable that a vote's never been taken on that, and that is certainly a big uh, step towards fighting corruption, um, but also strengthening our ethics laws and certainly banning pay-to-play. And one of the things I've been talking about since I've been up here is um, you know, the unconscionable, the, the economic development failures across our state, which are playing out in the corruption trials going on uh, right now. I was just in Syracuse at the um, Central New York Film Hub, which was $15 million of taxpayer dollars, um, and nothing's happening there. It just got sold for $1, uh, but $300,000 went into Cuomo's coffers. Um, and we have uh, Cadillac in New York City got a million dollars for a donation into Cuomo's campaign. And, you know, Buffalo Billions, you know, $750 million going um, to various businesses, many of which have, have, have ended up failing. And again, millions and millions of dollars into his campaign account. And, you know, trading uh, government resources for your own political gain really has to stop. He has raised uh, almost $75 million over eight years. Uh, and there's a reason for that. And that, that has to stop because that's not, it's basically, you know, we're taking, he's literally taking money out of taxpayers' wallets. Uh, for his gain and not for their gain. And, and they just, you know, those things haven't worked. We need a deal database. Uh, we need the attorney general to, um, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, controller to look at these deals, approve them. And they need, and we need a lot more transparency in New York. A lot of things done in the, in the dark shadows and that can't continue. Is there anything else you'd like to add that I didn't think to ask? Just that, just that the way that New York has, has um, been going and certainly the way that Cuomo has um, been acting has really, um, it's really hurt New York um, in the sense that it's taking money and billions away from our schools, from our seniors, from our special needs community. We need to put more money in infrastructure, drug prevention. And um, it's, it's, it's like a corruption tax. You get up every day and almost everything you do has just a little bit more on it um, because of the rules we have in New York and because of the way Cuomo is. And that corruption tax has to go away. And, and maybe the worst thing is that he has really sapped New Yorkers' trust in the government. We, people just don't believe in the government and what it can do for them anymore. And that, 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 that is sad. Uh, and we need New Yorkers to believe again. And I hope they'll believe in Mark and I to build a brighter future for New York.